I'm Cindy from BeDancewear.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to sew on fringe that you made from lycra or fabric. Uh, it's a great fun thing to do. It gives a lot of movement to a top or even if you just want to jazz up that bathing suit you had from last year and make it look like something new, this might be the perfect thing for you. Today um, I'm going to show you how to sew on fringe uh, made from lycra onto a top. So I've already cut the fringe and I've left enough space here to sew. There's a few ways you can sew this. I prefer to make it so that this is all hidden and the way I'm gonna be able to do that is I'm taking this bandeau top and instead of sewing right on top or, or sewing it from the front like this where you'd get a stitch across the top, you can do that, but I prefer to sew it so this is the back side of your fringe and to sew it coming from the back of your top because that way it will flip over and there's no sewn down spot here. It can lay smoothly all the way around. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I have the fringe. This is the back side um, laying down. I have the tube top or bandeau bra right here. So we're gonna need to make sure it goes on like that. And the way I found this is the easiest, you're gonna fold it in half inside out. Match up the side seams, cause you wanna make sure it's centered if you're not going all the way around. I'm gonna find the center point first, and I'm gonna put a pin there. Then I'm gonna find the side seam and that center point where it's pinned, I'm gonna put a pin in there. It'll make help it easy for me um, to guide everything so it's in the right spot. And then go ahead and put those together. And I'm gonna put a pin here. Now, if you um, are planning to use clear straps or something like that, you'll wanna remember, don't sew down where that clear strap will hook into. So once we do that, we have that there. I'm gonna put it backwards now. So, so the front is facing down. This is the part I'm gonna work with, okay? So, I'm going to fold this in half. That'll get me the center point. Now this particular one, just so you can see, I cut a little bit of the angle longer in the front. So we're going to fold it like this. And oops, let's pin it on. So the back side goes face down. It's just the opposite. So this is the inside and this will be the outside that you see. I'm going to take that spot where I put that pin and I'm gonna put it in here. Now, I'm gonna stretch this, cause you wanna make sure you stretch it. You kinda of figure out what's the easiest way for you to do it. I'm gonna to wanna to stretch that all the way. And then mark it with the pin. And then, stretch that all the way. And I've measured it already, so it would be at that side seam. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to fold this fringe in half because this is the halfway point where I pinned it. And pin that there. And then last one is that side seam. I'm going to pin that in right there. So when I stretch it, and I'll do a practice stretch, make sure there's nothing that lays funny. So before I sew it down, I always want to do that. And just to double check, when I sew it, I want it before I sew anything down, take a look. Make sure the fringe is the right direction. You're not going to sew it on backwards. So that is definitely the right direction. And so just so you get a clear view, I'm going to turn it inside out where I'm going to be sewing. So that is the front side of the fringe, and it's pinned down in all the spots. If you feel more comfortable with more pins, feel free, go ahead. I'm gonna set my machine at a zigzag. If you have a stretch stitch, you can do that also. And then, um, oops, zigzag. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off because it'll be a lot easier. And then, 
I'm going to want to put this in here. Now, one of the biggest things you'll want to watch out for is this fringe might want to tuck underneath and you'll accidentally sew it down. So I'm going to start off here and then back up. Then I'm going to take it. Now, never stretch while the needle's going down. If you need to stop to do it, feel free. And then I'm going to keep all these fringe out of the way. And then just sew across. Now, where I get to where this the loop is, I sew below where it would hook in, or you can sew above it. You choose, but make sure and leave that open so that you can fit the hook in there. If you need to, you can always cut a little hole in the fringe to fit that through also. And then we're gonna, let's scoot these all out of the way. I'm going to take that pin out. And keep going. Take that pin out. And all along, I'm making sure I don't sew that fringe down. From underneath. That's really important because otherwise it's hard to get out without making a hole sometimes. So. Sometimes if you just need to lift up the presser foot a little and redo it, readjust it, go ahead. And then, and then let's see, let's flip it all the right way, take all the pins out. And then there you go, you have fringe on a top. It's really that easy to do. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're gonna have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you wanna get our free complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewearcom slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video and remember, be original, be colorful, be dancewear.com.